Flood Church family. I'm here today with a group of leaders that uh, we know and love. Uh, Pastor Adam and I are uh, hosting this call with our our brothers from Malawi, uh, the lead pastors of each of the three sister congregations. We just appreciate their partnership and all that we've, all the goodness that we've received from each of them. So I want them to have an opportunity to introduce themselves to you and kind of share a little bit about the congregations they lead. Hey, Flood Church, you guys are absolutely amazing. Um, my name is Humphreys. I'm the lead pastor of Flood Church Lilongwe in Malawi. Uh, and Flood Church Lilongwe has been around for 14 and a half years now. Yeah, and my name is Giamigani, and I get the honor of lead pastor in uh, Flood Blanta. We planted in 2015 uh, with the support of you guys and your generosity. It's good, Flood. My name is Daddy uh, Timothy for those in San Diego who might remember me from 10 years ago. But yeah, I get the privilege and honor of leading Flood Church in Zuzu. We are nine months old. We planted in March this year. Thank you, Dolly. Good to have each of you guys here. Obviously, we're in the Christmas season, the Advent season, and one of our core values as a church family is generosity. We believe that God blesses us so that we can be a blessing to each other and to the world. And so, uh, Pastor Adam, why don't you share a little bit about some of the ways we've sought to be generous towards each other as as uh, sister congregations? Because we are, are committed and excited about uh, what God is doing, um, we just want to let you all know we have some, some Christmas gifts to share today. Um, so first off, we'll start with our, our, our baby brother. We're going to start with Dali. We as a congregation uh, heard you shared a, a need, and we know we felt this very much in this past year, the need for chairs. And so we wanted to help uh, your congregation purchase chairs for every Sunday. We also heard there's a need for a minibus to get people to and from church. We want to provide that need as well as give a large uh, planting gift just to help get you off the ground and, and get you going. And so um, we are giving $18,500 to Flood Mizuzu today and excited for that. So yes, and I feel like uh, this is an Oprah moment. All right, here we go. Next up, we got um, Flood Blantyre. Uh, I know you shared a desire to do a large outreach to, to reach people with the gospel in your city. Um, doing a big picnic. You also have a need for a minibus to help people get to get to church each Sunday, as well as a need, and I heard it, you need it, uh, a brand new sound system. So we are stoked and excited to support you all and are going to be giving you all $10,580 uh, to support those needs as well. And then last, but certainly not least, uh, we have Flood the Long Way. Um, I know there's a lot of needs, which um, the biggie that your our congregation, we're just giving you a sneak peek. They just recently bought a huge plot of land. And so we're excited um, to share a lot more about that in 2023 to help get your building project off the ground. But um, we know the church is ultimately about the people. And we know that one of your biggest needs was a brand new scholarship fund to help the young people that are coming um, to provide internships and help them finish their degrees as well as developing leaders for the kingdom. And so we are excited to support you with $5,000 um, to get that program off the ground. So just wanted to share that news and uh, hope you are all blessed by it. Uh, yes, uh, thank you guys. This is, uh, this is an answered prayer, uh, honestly. And I am so, uh, yes, overwhelmed. Uh, by your generosity, uh, but I, at the same time, I know everyone that gave is not because they have plenty, but it's because they want to see the kingdom flourishing and the kingdom going forward. So thank you so much that the collaborative effort of putting resources together is going to impact lives. It's going to impact college kids. It's going to uh, impact our favorite ghettos where we go and do concerts and where we get to connect with young people and do Bible studies and just share stories about what Jesus is doing. It's going to do so much um, uh, in, in our city. So I want to celebrate that and I want to say thank you. And may God bless you and keep you and make his face to shine upon you. Thank you guys. So excited. Words fail me right now because we're still a young church, uh, but we've seen uh, God come through for us in so many ways. Uh, by young church, I mean there's young people in the church and the number is not as big yet, but it's a number that is even scary to us. We started church in March 
and our first service had 35 people. And as we're recording this, uh, last week we had about 58 people come to church. And most of the people who are coming to church are college students. And it reminded me of when I started coming to Flood, uh, I was a college student myself. And a bus would pick us up from school. Humphreys was driving this bus. He would pick us up from school and drop us at church uh, because we didn't have money for transport. And we've seen the same issue here in Zuzu. And so you guys, your, your generosity is going to go above and beyond what we can, we can ask and imagine, you know? Yeah, um, super, super thankful uh, to God for you guys. Um, Flat San Diego, you guys have been a huge blessing um, to our congregation here in Lilongwe. And so thankful for uh, the gift uh, that you guys are giving to our church. When you send somebody to school, it's not just like one person that you're sending to school. You're not just helping one person. You're actually helping a, a clan. You know, uh, you're helping over 500 people because when you help them, you send them to school, uh, they will help their siblings and they'll, they'll help their you know cousins and uh, and so forth. And then before you know it, you have actually educated an entire generation when you thought you were just doing it for one person. I'm super, super thankful for your generosity and, and thank you very much uh, for your kindness. Uh, we cannot thank you guys enough and sure enough, I want to agree with it. Uh, other guys, uh, may God bless you richly and increase um, your territory as well. Thank you. Well, Pastors Humphreys, Yami and Dolly, we love you guys and we are encouraged and inspired by your faith and your faithfulness. Uh, You've given a lot to us as well. And so for us to be able to participate with the good things that God is doing in each of you and your congregations and through you is a, is a great gift and blessing. Someone a lot smarter than me said, it is more blessed to give than to receive. And so thanks for allowing this opportunity to, to be a part of the good work that God is doing in and through you guys. We love you and uh, bless you. Have a Merry Christmas, a blessed Advent. And we look forward to hearing more good good news of what God's doing.